Hi everyone. I'm here to give you a quick demo on some of the unique features of IOCell PMS, which include uh, expense management, purchases, and how this entire thing can fold up into a recurring profit and loss account, which is available to us at, uh, at any time. So now because IOCell is an all-in-one property management system, if we were to link our expenses that are incurred in the hotel, along with any purchases that we meet from any vendors, we anyways have all the information of IOCell revenues that come in from all channels using IOCell channel manager and pricing system. We have a very unique way of determining the PNL system, and I'm going to give you a brief overview on that. <clears throat> so the, the screen that we have open in front of us is the IOCell uh, stay view. So in the stay view, there's a small little dollar sign on top, which is the expense system. Now, this is how uh, any expenses that are incurred by the hotel at the front desk level or at any other level can be entered here. So if you click on it, it automatically has a cash book along with any expenses uh, that are maintained. So any cash coming in and out will automatically be recorded in the system because that's linked to the payments. In addition to that, if we have any expense that we want to make for the hotel, those expenses can be recorded here. We can select any mode of payment. So if it is a cash payment, it will automatically be linked to the cash book and hence we'll be able to keep the cash balance that we carry forward each day. But you can even make any expense in any other form like bill to company, bank transfer or credit card. <clears throat> so let's assume we want to make a uh, expense of cash. <clears throat> there are many categories that we can preload uh, in the system for the category of expenses. Now, this is customizable depending on the hotel's needs. So we can customize as many categories of expenses that we want. Once a particular category is loaded, we can select any category. For example, if we have an expense for laundry expense, suppose we have a bill of, uh, of uh, 5,000. In this case, it's rupees. We can determine the date of the expense. So in this case, if we want to say the date of expense is 3rd of June, if the expense has any specific invoice number associated with it, we can put an invoice number and say if the invoice uh, number is invoice 121. We can add any comments onto that <clears throat> along with the uh, possibility of adding the receipt as an image. So if we have uh, the receipt or any invoice copy, we can upload that as, um, as an image, which automatically gets stored in the particular expense. So here, I'm not going to do the expense right now, but I will show you, for example, we've added a telecommunication charges here. If I go, this was the proof of the, of the invoice. So in this case, it was done as a, uh, as a, 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 a wallet payment. So you can see the screenshot that was uh, saved here, which is automatically visible. Uh, you can have any other payments. You can see the cash being transferred chat. here. If we have any kind of cash that we deposit into the account by the hotel, we can also make it as a bank account uh, expense. So in this case, there was a certain amount of cash that was deposited. We can also upload that. And as you can see, the deposit split, split, uh, slip is uploaded here. So this is how all the expenses that get incurred at the hotel can be tracked here and can be entered by either the front office or the account system. If we do want to deposit any cash in order to maintain our cash balance. So in this case, what you see is whatever the cash balance that is there from the night before uh, get automatically transferred. So in this case, for example, the balance of cash here was 70,000 and the carry forward cash balance was this much. These were all the cash balances that incurred during the day. And whatever the final balance was, which is in this case was 9,649 was carried forward to the next day. Now, if we want to deposit any amount as cash or any other kind of payment as a balance, we can also deposit that. What that means is that we are replenishing the cash balance of the particular hotel with a particular amount. So this is a brief overview of the expenses that can be used within the, uh, within the ISL PMS system. Now I'll briefly take you through the purchases. The typical expense difference between a purchase and an expense is that a purchases is something that we can track in terms of the stock available as well as the, the, the vendor as well as the amount of inventory that is available in the stores. So for example, this is uh, an example invoice that was created by a vendor. 
where we purchased a whole bunch of items that are typically needed for the hotel operations. And this was done as an invoice. So typically we start in the stores module, we first create a purchase order. Then we convert that purchase order into an invoice. We specify the vendor, the vendor whom we purchased this invoice from. We specified the, the invoice number, the invoice date, and then we can create that invoice. Once we create an invoice, that amount is automatically there and it shows up in our stock of items. So any items that are there, is, whether it's a capital item or uh, any item is, uh, is there as far as the stock units is concerned. So typically that's the difference between a purchase which is done through stores and an expense that is done through the front desk because any expense that is done through the front desk is not tracked in terms of inventory and items kept in the stock. But any purchase that is done through the store, through the PO and invoices and indent is typically tracked as far as the inventory position is concerned. And <clears throat> so that it can be used for any kind of future inventory management. So now, now that we have both the expenses along with the purchases into the system, what the IOCell PMS does is that it introduces a unique report, which is called the monthly PNL system, monthly PNL report. Now, this is a fantastic uh, product that is part of IOCell because what it does is IOCell automatically records all revenues that are part of the system. So all revenues that come automatically flow into the system. Any kind of OTA commission that we incur because we, if we use IOCell channel manager, all OTA commissions automatically get recorded in the IOCell PNL. Then any other expenses, as I showed you of laundry expenses here, you can have any kind of electricity, lease, general expenses, laundry expenses, garbage cleaning expenses, so on and so forth. All those expenses that were entered automatically show up depending on the date of the expense for the monthly PNL. Any purchases that were made as invoices for that particular hotel automatically go into the purchase column and will automatically be marked in the particular department or in the particular category that they were marked as. Right? So whether it's a housekeeping, whether it's a food item, whether it's a repair and maintenance, so on and so forth. So now what we have in IOCell is this unique ability to have our revenues, our expenses, and our purchases that are made in a particular time frame, all which automatically roll up into a monthly PNL system, uh, monthly PNL report, which makes the idea of managing, managing a hotel, a monthly MIS, very simple and easy to do because all these values automatically start coming up in this report as long as we track the expenses, as long as we track the purchases, the revenues as well as the OTA expenses and the OTA commissions are automatically tracked. And that is what helps us make this very unique and this great product that a hotel owner can use at any time to track the PNL and the position, the profitability of their hotel. So this summarizes the overall uh, PNL product of uh, IOCell PMS. There are many other videos which can which can highlight each one of those features separately. But thank you so much for listening and uh, have a good day.